And uh, people are people are just asking, like, what do I need to know about moving to Texas? So a lot of people out of the area are asking, what do I need to know about moving to Texas this fall, this winter, and moving forward into 2022? Yeah, it's a great question, and we do get a ton of it on on the YouTube channel. So if you haven't been over there, tthst.tv, or just go to toddtremontyteam.com and click the videos tab. But Make sure you like and subscribe, obviously. If you're into that sort of thing. But here's the deal. Um, Texas is a hot, hot, hot target location to move to for almost the whole country. We are seeing massive influx from California. We're seeing huge movements from the Midwest, the Northeast. But now, honestly, lately, we're seeing people moving here from some of the other hotbed targets like Arizona, Tennessee, Kansas, uh, some of these typically tax-friendly generally conservative locations. And that's not me talking. That's just the feedback we are getting from hundreds of people reaching out to us who are wanting to move to the area for two reasons. One, an escape from something they don't like, whatever it is, taxes, policy, weather, jobs, whatever. But they're moving here for those same reasons, taxes, weather, uh, public policy, jobs, healthcare, things like that. But here's what you need to know. You need to know that in your mind, if you think you're moving to Texas is a small thing, it's not. Texas is massive. Texas is bigger than like massive percentages of other countries and continents. Pretty but sure my home country fits into Texas like it four and a half times. Definitely does. Almost that whole continent. But uh, you guys have a pretty nice size island, but it's, it would fit in Texas well. But the point I'm making is moving to Texas is like saying going into business there are still a lot of options inside Texas, right? So um, Dallas, Fort Worth is a massive metropolitan area, but it is the massive metropolitan area to the north. You've got Houston, which is kind of the massive metropolitan area to the south. And then you've got a lot of other great options. And every time I give this list, we get emails because I don't say something and it makes people mad. But you've got Waco, Central Texas. You've got Austin, which is kind of hill country, Central Texas. You've got San Antonio blowing up. A huge city, bigger than most people think. Give it credit for now. And then way, 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 way out west, you've got El Paso, which has grown up a ton. And then out to the east, you've got Tyler Longview, which have grown up more than a lot of people think. Um, and there's a bunch of other sizable cities of every size you could imagine in Texas, right? You've got Houston, which is give or take second, third, fourth largest city in America. It moves around depending on the metric. That baseball team, though. You got Dallas close. Yeah, the World Series does mean you're a bad team. That's actually what people think. Yeah! But um, here's the deal. Texas has a lot of options. That's the point. So you want to be thinking... Uh, what are my primary criteria for moving here? Is it education? Is it healthcare? Is it jobs? If it's jobs, what sector are you looking for in jobs? Houston is huge on oil and gas, but Dallas has a notable presence for that, you know, pr primarily natural gas. Uh, Dallas is more known for banking and technology, but obviously there's a lot of that in Houston as well. Um, Austin is our political, you know, it's our capital. Uh, there's a lot happening there. And a lot of the super innovative tech space has moved into that region as well. Uh, north of Dallas and the Richardson area has been called the telecom corridor for years. So I could go on and on and on and on, but just for a short snippet, one of the biggest things you need to know before moving to Texas is what are you moving here for? And then someone like us with a real estate brokerage and a, and a media element can help you make choices about which area to move to. So check out the YouTube channel if you haven't already. 